What is up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing my basic glam, like my go-to full beat, full face of makeup, the whole, the whole thing. It is a makeup look that I get compliments on all the time because it's usually what I'm wearing. <laughs> if you have not already subscri subscribed, Okay, if you have not already subscribed, please hit that little red button down below and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up because it helps me way more than you know. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today, so let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is the Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Complex Spray. To be honest, I don't really know if this does anything for my skin, but I feel like it does, so I continue to use it. A good shake in. Just give it a good spot so typically this is my last step when it comes to prepping my skin obviously I do my normal skincare routine nightly and um, in the morning so now we're actually gonna get into the makeup portion we're gonna start by priming I'm gonna be using the silk canvas I absolutely love this primer but the price point makes me want to throw up I think this primer is good I don't know if it's really worth the money I just dropped it. So now that I am all done priming, I'm going to go in with foundation. Today, I'm going to be using the Born This Way foundation by Too Faced and the color Pearl. I'm going to start with one pump on a Real Techniques sponge. And I'm just going to work this into my skin. I know I look like I'm covered in powder. Wet powder, apparently, because I'm glossy. But it'll buff out. I'm going to be using the Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay, and this is in the shade Fair. And then I'm just going to blend this out with my Real Technique sponge. Before I set or bake my concealer, I'm going to give it some time to actually set itself. So in the meantime, I'm going to move on to my brows. When I do my brows, I always start with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and the color Taupe. They don't need... A ton of work but I still like to shape them so I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this but I have drawn a small arch here where I don't have hair um, but since this pencil is so light it doesn't pick it up I do go in with the NYX precision brow pencil it's a little bit bigger and thicker and this is in the color ash brown and I use this strictly just on my arch to make it more defined and that's about it and there we go, we have an eyebrow. I'm just gonna buff out any creases that may have formed. So now I'm gonna take some of the Cody Airspun Powder in Translucent. Translucent, wow, I literally cannot speak English. I don't know what's happening. Anyways, I'm just gonna bake my face under my eyes. I definitely have to bake my face around my smile lines because I'm always laughing and I crease there the most. I also bake right here above my lip, above my cupid's bow on my chin and in between my eyebrows and on my forehead and then I just take a little bit of that powder on a big brush and just lightly tap that onto the rest of my face. I do like setting my eyelids with a powder or um, a white eyeshadow before I start blending on it. I'm just going to take this shade, it's called Coconut Cream, it's a very like light cream color and i'm just going to set my eyelid i prefer using this method i know some people prefer a sticky base before applying eyeshadow because it does make the eyeshadow more intense i am starting to look less creepy which is good so next i'm going to go in with bronzer my all-time favorite bronzer is the hula bronzer by benefit i don't know why i was just holding it like that but here we go if I'm being completely honest, Hoola is really the only bronzer I've ever used. I don't really have much to compare it to. <laughs> I wanted to try the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Um, I just haven't gone to get it. <laughs> so I'm just using this to warm up my face, give it some color because right now we're looking very flat. I mean, I'm dark, like I am tan, but my face likes to stay white there we go we're warm now the next thing I'm gonna do is contour my nose um, I like using bronzer to contour my nose um, because 
it just looks more natural because I used to go ham on my nose contour and it was a little intense so I try to tone it back now I totally did not name the brushes that I was using um, I'll put it in the description if you care that much I'm gonna take my hula bronzer on a morphe m562 it's just a really small fluffy brush and I am going to slightly contour my nose so contouring my nose is something that I'm still learning how to do okay I'm still learning I just have like this weird bridge in my nose and like from certain angles when I take pictures it almost looks broken um, because it does this weird thing with the bridge right <laughs> with that same brush I like to put some bronzer under my lip I just take a little bit of my baking powder on my sponge and I just kind of carve out my thing like I clean it up is what I'm saying so we're gonna leave this bake on for a little while and while that is baking we're gonna finish up the rest of the face this is literally the only blush I use it is a Sigma bra uh, what is English because I have no idea this is the only blush I use. It is a Sigma blush in the color Cheeky. I don't like using a lot, but I do like using it to bring some color to my face. Anyways, so next, so the next thing I'm gonna do is lay down my first um, layer of highlight. I'm gonna be using the Becca highlighter in Champagne Pop. I'm just gonna take this and we're gonna apply this okay <laughs> and we're just gonna blend this so what I mean by layering wow <laughs> lose this breath <laughs> pretty much I just like to lay a dry layer of highlighter down and then I do like to go in with the same highlighter but wet whether it be on a wet brush or just applying it shortly after I set my face I'm going to highlight down the bridge of my nose Sorry if I'm triggering anyone by using such a big brush. And then the cupid's bow. So now I'm just going to wipe off this remaining bake I have down here. And next we're going to move on to eyes. So today I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette for my eye look. I hate that the shade names are on the back. So I'm starting off with the shade Silk Cream on a Morphe M502. And I am just buffing this into my crease next I'm taking the shade Pooter on a Morphe M200 and I'm gonna pop that right underneath where I had that other shade and just blend the two into each other Ugh. so now we have some depth not too much just very basic uh, transition going on So, depending on my mood that day determines what color I'm going to do next right here on the lid. If I'm going out, it's probably this shade here, which is called Buns. Oh, but for today, because it is daytime and I am going to be going out and about after this, I'm going to be taking this shade right here called SBN on a Morphe M167, and I'm just going to pat this on my lid. I am now going to take my Morphe M562, the same brush I used to contour my nose with, and I'm going to go in with my first transition shade and start blending on my lash line. If you hear my dog in the background playing with her toy, I apologize. So my camera was dying, I had to charge it for like 10 minutes. So all I did was blend the same two transition shades that I used on my lid. On my lower lash line I put mascara on I used the L'Oreal Lash Paradise and just black and then I put on these lashes which are very big that I am now realizing these are the kiss lashes in the style Teddy they came in a package like this I don't have the box I just have this so hopefully that's the right uh, style next I'm gonna take my Fersali rose gold skin mist I actually really really like it I'm going to mist my face I like using this because it adds more moisture into my face, which I like. I like looking dewy. I don't like looking matte. 
but I have to set my face and I have to bake it or I crease like no other. So while this is still slightly damp, like I said, I'm going to take my Becca Champagne Pop and I'm just going to add a little bit more highlighter right on the high points of my cheekbones. Moving on to lips, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Lip Liner 24-7 uh, Glide On Lip Pencil, my apologies, in the shade 1993. It's my favorite lip liner, clearly I use it quite a bit. For my lipstick, I'm actually going to be using a liquid lipstick. It's by Anastasia in the shade Stripped. So I'm going to let this dry down a little bit and then right in the center, I'm going to pop in another Anastasia liquid lip in the color Naked, just right in the center to, again, just add dimension and depth. And, and I don't know why, but this smells like tequila and it makes me gag. This is my absolute favorite lip combo. I'm never not wearing it because it is summer and I don't like wearing matte lips during the summertime. I'm going to add a little bit of gloss on top. This is just a Revlon gloss. It's My camera's not going to focus. I don't know why I keep doing that. This is in the shade Rosy Future. I'm just going to add this on top. And last but not least, we're going to set my face, and I'm going to be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Alright guys, and that is the end of my tutorial today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more makeup tutorials with a little bit more color and more fun, don't hesitate to let me know in the comments down below, because I definitely will do that. I love you guys so much, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.